Has Harden become a liability? He has. James Harden is not a max play anymore. He's not Houston's James Harden anymore. That guy is gone. The step back is not reliable anymore. He can't consistently beat guys off the dribble anymore. They're not giving him those calls anymore. James Harden was so bad, so horrible last night. It almost looked intentional. Since we got him, everybody expected the Houston James Harden, but that's not who he is anymore. The great James Harden was outplayed by two guys named Max Struess and Gabe Vincent. The year is 2020, and the Houston Rockets had just been eliminated in the bubble by the Los Angeles Lakers. James Harden just finished his postseason run with a 30 points per game average, and his future in Houston seemed rocky. Harden may have been one of the best players in the league, but come playoff time, he faced little success. He wanted a change, and once he was sent to Brooklyn in January of 2021, his game seemed to take a step back. Gone were the days of dropping 30 points effortlessly. As a net, Harden evolved into more of a playmaker and took a back seat to his two superstar teammates. For the first time in his career, he faced a multitude of major injury problems regarding his hamstring, and once the 2021 postseason rolled around, those injuries ended his playoff run. The following 2021-22 season saw more of the same, Harden's play didn't return to his Houston Rockets level, and he looked passive and non-aggressive on the court. When he was traded to Philadelphia, fans expected him to return to his former glory, but when not even a change of scenery could save the beard, that left many wondering, what happened? How could one player go from an effortless scorer that averaged 30 in 2020, to struggling to average 20 in the playoffs in 2022. What was the reason behind Harden's nosedive in offensive production? Many spectators jumped to blame Harden's recent failure on his multitude of injuries, but the story goes deeper than just that. The hamstring injuries may have taken the attention, but they won't tell you the full history. This is the real story behind James Harden's decline. James Harden's hamstring problems may be taking the headlines now, but the star guard has dealt with this injury in the past. In Harden's 2017-18 MVP campaign, he suffered a grade 2 hamstring injury against the Lakers in December of 2017 that sidelined him for two weeks. The biggest injury of his career to that point, and while he may have shaken it off then, the wear and tear on his legs were just beginning. The peak of James Harden's offensive play came during his final years in Houston, 2017 to 2020. During this time, the Beard averaged 30 points per game in 2017-18, 36 in 2018-19, and 34 in 2019-20. These numbers all led the league by far giving Harden three scoring champ awards to his name. James was in an offensive system that relied on heavy isolation plays, which forced him to use his speed and dribble moves to drive by opponents. This method succeeded at the time, but it put tons of pressure on Harden to use all of his energy on offense, or else his team had little chance of winning. A prime example of this came during the 2018-19 season, where his star teammate Chris Paul injured his hamstring and missed 34 games. James had to step up and put up monster scoring nights to keep his team afloat record-wise. While it may have been unbelievable at the time to witness such an unreal scoring season, this playstyle along with his 37 minutes per game average were hampering his future and putting tons of miles on his legs. James Harden's final playoff run with the Houston Rockets in 2020 saw the MVP average 30 points per game. His usual dominant numbers had ended in an unfortunate second round exit, and by this point, he was fed up with his team. Harden's patience had run dry with the Rockets organization. He believed his chances at winning a ring would be better off elsewhere. He requested a trade in November of 2020, and what soon followed this news was astonishing. 
The Houston Rockets began their 2020-21 season with their superstar looking a bit different. The beard looked overweight, sluggish when playing, and nonchalant on both ends of the ball. While this infamous photo may have been stunning to look at at first, it's greatly over-exaggerated, as with different angles. He appears far more slim than initially perceived. This didn't stop social media from making this story go viral. And while the reports of his weight were conflicting, what was clear was that James Harden was lackadaisical on the court. A far cry from the past, why was this? Besides the obvious answer that he was frustrated, Harden and the Rockets, as well as a majority of other NBA teams, were coming off the shortest offseason in NBA history. The Rockets' final playoff game took place on September 12th, 2020 and the following season kicked off just three months later. This 90-day offseason most likely had an effect on Harden's conditioning, and that combined with his growing irritation paints a clearer picture as to why his last season with Houston went as unusual as it did. James Harden was displeased and became vocal about his desire to leave the Rockets in post-game press conferences. In his final eight games with H-Town in the 2020-21 season, the Beard averaged 25 points per game with 10 dimes. Compared to the prior year, he saw a double-digit decrease in scoring, but a three-assist increase in playmaking. Harden was slowly turning his offensive focus towards passing the ball as opposed to scoring it. In the past, he had been known for his ball-dominant playstyle, but now, shooting was no longer his first choice. On January 14th, 2021, James Harden was traded to the Brooklyn Nets in exchange for a haul of first-round picks. His one and only goal was a championship. The scoring titles, the MVP award, the first-team All-NBA selections, Harden valued them, but ultimately, his storied career needed a ring to be the cherry on top. In Brooklyn, Harden's new pass-first playstyle flourished alongside fellow superstars Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. James was officially playing the point guard spot. Irving wanted him to do so, and Harden was willing to make the sacrifice. Number 13 shot the ball 16 times on average as a net in the 2020-21 season. Comparatively, in the previous two seasons, he shot the ball 22 and 24 times, a steep decline. These stats were ignored by many though. Harden was letting Kyrie and KD do a majority of the shot taking, a recipe that led to winning. While his numbers weren't as flashy as the past, what was clear was that Harden was still a superstar player. His first two months with Brooklyn were phenomenal. Harden won the Player of the Month award in both February and March, guiding his team to countless dubs. His offense may have no longer been the ISO-heavy shooting display of the past, but it was still lethal. Harden was near the top of the league in assists per game. There were zero question marks regarding James Harden's production. He was still very much the same player NBA fans had been accustomed to for years. The Brooklyn Nets were heavy favorites to win the NBA Finals. All they needed to do was stay healthy and more winning would come. That would all change in late March of 2021, when cracks began forming in the domain of Harden's health. From January 16th, 2021 up until March 23rd, 2021, James Harden had missed just one game as a Brooklyn Net. There was no panic surrounding his health, and his future as a superstar showed no signs of stoppage. His one game that he sat out was against the Washington Wizards in late January with a left thigh contusion, but besides that, the beard was healthy. On March 31st, 2021, against the Houston Rockets, James Harden drove inside on a routine layup, kicked it out, and reached for his right thigh area. This was the beginning of what would go down as an infamous series of hamstring injuries for the guard. Harden missed two games and returned on April 5th against the New York Knicks, only to suffer another right hamstring injury when driving to the paint. This would sideline him for a month, which led to a grueling recovery process that featured a major setback. On April 20th, 2021, Booming headlines were released to the NBA world, detailing that the Beard had suffered a setback on his hamstring recovery process. The once small concern surrounding his health had now become worryingly louder. The target for his return was now set on the 2021 playoffs, 
which gave little time for the Nets Big 3 to gel and build chemistry. A sudden harsh dose of reality had smacked James Harden in the face, and this left many wondering. Why was he the victim to the merciless hamstring bug? Throughout James Harden's illustrious career to that point, while his numbers on the court were magnificent, he did receive scrutiny for his off-the-court stories. During his final year with the Rockets in late 2020, Harden missed the start of training camp and was reportedly seen partying with popular rapper and good friend Lil Baby. His late-night adventures were a common theme that Houston's management was well aware of. One former Rockets assistant stated that if Harden's team had multiple days off, it was a guarantee that the beard would fly elsewhere and party. Whenever popular rappers like Lil Durk, Meek Mill, and the aforementioned Lil Baby were making a trip to Houston, Harden himself states that he stayed up all night in the studio with them until 7.30 a.m., and then went straight to practice afterwards. However, these partying issues were ignored by the Houston Rockets organization, as Harden's play was just as phenomenal no matter what he did the night before. James Harden could get little to no sleep after staying up all night and still destroy any team that he was playing the following day. But as he grew older, his body had become less and less forgiving to such a habit. Harden's conditioning had taken a major hit, and once he finally reported to Rockets training camp in late 2020, the once lightning quick guard looked sluggish on the court. His unprecedented hamstring injuries that he had never faced in his career didn't just pop up due to pure coincidence, but rather, they were directly linked to his poor conditioning at the time. Once Harden suffered this hamstring injury, it became harder for him to stay in shape. Cardio is difficult when on an injured hamstring, which means that it's easy to put on pounds when you can't sprint at a normal speed. This hampered James even more. He entered the 2020-21 season with poor conditioning, and now he couldn't get back into shape because of this injury. Perhaps the years of late night partying had caught up to him. Perhaps the short offseason played a role in his sudden burst of injuries. What was clear was that the beard, known throughout his career as an Iron Man with injuries, was dealing with his greatest health crisis yet. James Harden played two more games in the 2020-21 regular season with Brooklyn, facing a minutes restriction and sitting out the final game for rest. While the injuries may have taken the headlines, the consensus opinion in the NBA world was that Harden was still his same old self. The Brooklyn Nets, who had dealt with injuries to all three of their stars, had limped into the playoffs with sky-high expectations. A championship seemed to be in the rearview mirror. James Harden had the chance to grab his most coveted achievement that had tormented his career up until that point, a ring. The highest highs and lowest lows of James Harden's Nets tenure took place during the 2021 playoffs, and it began with excitement. Brooklyn earned the second seed, facing the injury-riddled Celtics in round one. James Harden turned up a notch and played like a superstar, erasing any and all doubt about his injury woes. The Beard averaged 27 points per game with 10 dimes, capping it off with a 34-point triple-double in a closeout game five. Harden looked confident and quick, and fit in perfectly as the playmaking shot creator alongside KD and Kyrie. A phenomenal showing, the Nets won the series in five, leaving many fans ecstatic about the future of their big three. It appeared that the month-long rest and recovery Harden had gone through helped elevate his play. Number 13 was motivated to help his squad capture a ring, and an overwhelming majority of the basketball world picked Brooklyn to win the title. After a decade plus of never-ending playoff failures for James Harden, it seemed like finally, the curse would be broken, the beard would get a ring. All the team had to do was continue their momentum past the Milwaukee Bucks in round two, but then it all came crashing down. The Brooklyn Nets entered game one in round two against the Milwaukee Bucks, eager to take care of business, but all it took was 20 seconds for their bubble to be bursted. On a routine layup attempt, James Harden drove inside, kicked it out, and came out limping, holding his thigh area. Sure enough, it was another hamstring injury on the same right leg. James Harden was hurt once again, a grade two hamstring injury at that, but the public didn't know this at the time. The Brooklyn Nets had labeled this injury as right hamstring tightness, 
which is a lot less severe than a grade 2 strain. Hamstring tightness requires much less rest, while grade 2 is way more serious. It's unclear as to why Brooklyn falsely labeled this injury as tightness at first, and the public wouldn't know the severity of Harden's hammy until after the series concluded. This haunting image of James Harden exiting the court not only represented a chance at a ring being destroyed, but it was the start of a domino effect that would lead to Harden making the worst decision of his career to continue playing. The Brooklyn Nets as a team were unfazed through games 1 and 2. They destroyed Milwaukee, as KD and Kyrie carried the load. This excitement came to a screeching halt in game 4, however, when Kyrie suffered an ankle injury going up for a layup. The Big 3's health was deteriorating, and this Kyrie injury put a massive amount of pressure on James Harden. The team was now a one-man show with KD, and Harden, who had a burning desire to win, knew he needed to come back no matter the circumstances. Before Game 5, shocking headlines were released to the public that James Harden, playing on a Grade 2 hamstring injury, was coming back. An injury that takes 4-8 to eight weeks to recover from saw Harden return in only 10 days. Remember, the Nets said initially that Harden was dealing with hamstring tightness, when in reality he was dealing with a grade 2 strain. In no way should a player come back to the court only 10 days after suffering such a severe injury. Somewhere along the line, there was miscommunication between Harden and the doctors. Nonetheless, this triumphant return from Harden wouldn't conclude with a positive ending. James Harden played games 5, 6, and 7 against Milwaukee, and put up horrific stats. He scored 14 points per game with 8 dimes, on 30% shooting from the field, and 19% from 3. Terrible, below average numbers, but when you take a closer look past the stats, it was clear that Harden was not even close to his usual self. He was a decoy on the court. His sole purpose was to playmake and operate as a floor spacer for Kevin Durant. In a do-or-die game 7, Harden scored 22, 9, and 9 on 5 of 17 shooting from the field in a loss. A pitiful but understandably bad performance given the circumstances. And just like that, Brooklyn's season was over. James Harden playing these final three games to help his team was an admirable decision, but it put even more miles on his already declining legs. Playing on a grade 2 hamstring injury was a catastrophic choice from James. The Nets labeling it as hamstring tightness was even more damaging. He played 45, 39, and 53 minutes in games 5, 6, and 7 on a bad leg. His injury was not fully healed, and by playing on it, it ruined his hamstring even more. A tragic set of events. Harden had put his career on the line for a Game 7 loss. Milwaukee beat Brooklyn and ended up winning the championship. The Nets' Big 3, who seemed destined for greatness, ended their first and only rodeo with a heartbreaking L. Fans of Harden took solace in the hope that with an offseason to rest and recoup, the beard would recover quickly from this loss. Little did they know, this disaster was only just beginning. The 2021-22 season opened up with James Harden showing up to training camp overweight. Kevin Durant, his superstar teammate, was reportedly shocked by how poor Harden's conditioning was. The sole reason for Harden being out of shape during this time was unclear. Some pointed to his questionable work ethic, and with his shaky history of partying, many believed it was solely Harden's fault that he arrived overweight. However, others said his right hamstring injury was the reason he couldn't lose weight. To get into shape, lots of cardio work is required. Harden was unable to do this at a high level because his hamstring held him back. Regardless, no matter if you blamed Harden or his hammy, one thing was clear. He needed to prove himself. The 2021-22 season for Brooklyn was an absolute disaster from the very beginning. Kyrie Irving refused to get the shot, which sidelined him for a great majority of the year. While this was a tough loss, Brooklyn still held their head high. KD and Harden were more than ready to step up. The Nets opened up the first 32 games with a fiery 23-9 record, but this didn't clear up any questions regarding James Harden. The Beard had his exciting moments. He was still one of the better players in the league. 
but the Houston Rockets Harden fans were accustomed to seemed gone. It was no longer the right hamstring that was bothering him, but rather, his left hamstring had become an issue. He was experiencing minor tightness around the left hammy area, but he still played the games and wasn't planning on sitting out just yet. To add on, many Brooklyn Nets fans were confused as to why James hadn't signed an extension yet. Harden was set to be a free agent in the summer of 2022, and claimed he hadn't re-signed with Brooklyn because he wasn't ready yet and was just taking his time with it. Some believed his justification. Others started wondering if Harden's eyes were looking elsewhere. The Beard had reportedly told multiple people that he was interested in testing free agency, puzzling even more spectators. These concerns were brushed aside, as an even bigger issue formed with another superstar on the Nets, Kevin Durant. In a January 2022 game against the New Orleans Pelicans, KD suffered an MCL injury. This would sideline the superstar indefinitely, which meant that both Kyrie Irving, who couldn't play home games, and Kevin Durant, who had a knee injury, were now out. James Harden now stood alone, with only a part-time Kyrie by his side, which infuriated him. He came to Brooklyn because he was tired of being the number one option, and now, it seemed like history was repeating itself. The Nets started dropping games fast, and Harden's play was diminishing. His left hamstring tightness wasn't getting any better. He had to carry the load with his two-star teammates in and out of the lineups. Rumors of the Beard wanting to go to Philadelphia began rising, and while Harden denied it at first due to fear of public criticism, he soon admitted it. James Harden wanted to be a Sixer. He wanted to be reunited with his former Rockets general manager, Daryl Morey. He was fed up with Kyrie Irving sitting out. He was tired of being the number one option on offense, and his play on the court soon reflected his frustration. Harden gave up. He gave poor effort on defense and looked lackadaisical on offense. He started sitting games in February 2022 due to left hamstring tightness, which sent the Nets into a freefall. On February 10th, 2022, this polarizing saga came to a conclusion. James Harden was traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. The big three that was hailed as one of the greatest ever talent-wise only played 16 games together. Harden failed to win a ring in Brooklyn. His tenure as a net only lasted a little over one year. He was now in Philly, paired with an MVP caliber center in Joel Embiid. Harden appeared to be in a perfect situation. He had his favorite general manager and Daryl Morey on his side once again, and had a talented roster around him. The expectations for the 2021-22 season in Philly were sky high, and it was time for the beard to elevate his play. And he did just that. James Harden arrived in a Sixers uniform and sat out the first few games to recover from his left hamstring tightness. And then, it was go time. Post All-Star break, the beard was back, and he lit the NBA world on fire. The Sixers opened up 4-0 with James, and the beard averaged 27 per game with 12 dimes and 7 rebounds. A massive upgrade stats-wise over his final season in Brooklyn, Harden turned back the clock and looked like an offensive superstar. Fans at the time were confused and began wondering if Harden only played badly in Brooklyn because he was upset. This wasn't the case. Harden was playing well because he had gotten three weeks of rest. He hadn't played since February 2nd and put on a Sixers uniform for the first time on February 25th. His hamstring tightness had been healing, and his conditioning had improved. This wasn't the first example of Harden playing well after resting. The same situation occurred in late December of 2021, when he was in Brooklyn. During this time, the beard was in the health and safety protocols, which gave him two weeks to rest. Once he returned, he played his best basketball yet scoring four straight 30-plus point games and continuing his dominance until late January 2022. What happened in late January 2022? Harden missed two games due to left hamstring soreness. His superstar run that began due to rest ended when the injury bug bit him once again. It was clear that Harden with rest was a better player, but Philly couldn't afford to sit the beard. They needed to win games, and unfortunately, Harden's play slowly started declining as the season progressed. Sixers coach Doc Rivers claimed that Harden was still not 100% health-wise in late March of 2022. 
But still, the beard kept playing. She knew he wasn't at full strength, but his presence on the court would give Philly a chance at a deep playoff run. Harden finished the 2021-22 season averaging 22 points per game with 10 dimes, on 41% shooting from the field and 33% from three. He dropped in points and efficiency from the prior year, but was still one of the best passers in the league. Many hoped the postseason would see an uptick in stats, but what followed was a decline. The 2022 playoffs arrived, and immediately, any hopes of a championship were shattered. In the Round 1 series against the Toronto Raptors, Sixers superstar Joel Embiid suffered both thumb and orbital bone injuries. His hand and face were both in pain, and these injuries hampered his play severely. With an injured Embiid and a sluggish Harden, Philly was no longer a threat in the Eastern Conference. Their season came to an end thanks to Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat, who beat the Sixers in six. In the 12 playoff games James Harden played, he had just one game in which he scored above 30 points. A far cry, as just two years prior, he was averaging 30 points per game in the playoffs. Harden had a pitiful postseason run, scoring just 18 a game on 40% shooting from the field, topping it off with a mediocre 11 points on 9 shots in a closeout game 6 against Miami. Fans were at a loss for words as to why Harden was attempting so few shots. In his prime, he was often ridiculed for taking too many shots. The one superstar, MVP athlete who conquered basketball for years was no longer as feared as he once was. James Harden's future that once had zero question marks is now covered in a foggy cloud full of worry. He went from the league's leading scorer to a player who couldn't even average 20 in the 2022 playoffs. How he got to that point was a combination of poor decisions by him and pure unluckiness. For years, James Harden relied on his athleticism and Iron Man-like health to guide him. His poor late-night habits took a toll on the longevity of his career. Him coming into Rocket's training camp in 2020 out of shape after being spotted partying hurt his long-term health. Once he tried to get back in shape, his unlucky hamstring injuries made it difficult to do cardio. His admirable decision to return after re-injuring his right hamstring in the 2021 playoffs ended up hampering his career even more. He played heavy minutes in games 5, 6, and 7 against Milwaukee on a misdiagnosed hamstring injury. Brooklyn said it was hamstring tightness, when in reality, he returned in 10 days on a grade 2 hamstring strain that needed 4-8 to eight weeks to heal. In the following 2021-22 season, KD and Kyrie were barely on the court, and Harden suffered as a result. He was forced to be the ball-dominant first option on the left hamstring that was experiencing tightness, which frustrated him. This all culminated in a horrible 2022 playoff run, in which Harden's stats fell to rock bottom compared to his past numbers. A devastating, unlucky turn of events that Harden himself influenced with his past decisions. Now, it's up to him, the one-time MVP, the multiple-time scoring champ, the future Hall of Famer, to respond.